Hi everyone, this is a quick sort of video report of a place test session of Tribes of Prax, which I'm currently undertaking, as I've got a day off. Uh, it's a free player game, this particular one, you can but obviously the game plays between two to five. Let's have a quick look around and see what's going on. Okay, well the first thing we can see that the year is 1615. Um, we can see the lunar Attitude track, we see the Sables have done sufficient enough to upset the Lunars that they're not allied anymore But the Llamas and the Mora Camp are sort of in the neutral zone We look around This is the Mora Camp here. The Mora Camp are pretty well embedded in this bottom right Well, the bottom right hand part of the board. You can see it's really sort of uh, the River of, River of Cradles Valley uh, No Grantlands come out yet, so they're quite safe there at the moment we can see that they actually have picked up a blessing for Aretha of Ronance here and he effectively doubles the grazing capacity of that area um, and we can see down here that we can see these they're the, they're their chits there so they've got Aretha's blessing, they've got a Waha blessing and a peaceful cup which is really quite useful we can see they've got their ally, their main spirits here so they've got their ancestors, their tribal spirits, their founders and their protectress Okay, which is not on the cards, it must be on the board somewhere if I can remember. Oh yes, the protectress is over here, protecting this uh, reduced herb hit, herd here. They also have two allied spirits. They've got Lightning Boy and the White Princess. Let's have a look see how they're doing in terms of their power and victory status. It's just start of a new turn, so they're doing quite well. They've got a power of seven, sort of average. And in terms of status, they are currently on a total of seven, so they're still quite close there still. It's also that they have allied uh, the Hidden Tribes. MSV, the, the Hidden Tribes, a really useful unit, that, because it's a strong unit. It's effectively, having two, effectively ha like having two units, really. We go around to see how the High Lama are doing. Okay, and again, they've got... Waha's Vigor. Oh, but they picked up a Bane. They didn't sacrifice to a Reef, which is rather foolish of them. So they've got a Spirit Barrier, which is basically not going to move very far on the Spirit Plane when they send the Shaman off there. And we can see if they've been in a bit of a tussle with the Mora Camp down here, really. And it uh, looks like there's going to be a big battle developing here. Uh, also, the Sables have been left to their own a bit over to the left-hand side of the board. And they're coming to sort of pick on this High Lama clan and herd over here so they're going to need all their spirit power spirits to call on to help them out there they've also got two allied spirits they've got pole star and mistress calm and they've also started an adventure okay i'm not sure where their adventure counter is at the moment i think it might be on the big rubble uh, and you see they're going to temple of third they've they've just started actually they haven't been getting anywhere on that first one but no one died either so they're quite happy to let that run just seeing the bottom in the corner here, you can see though it's a free play game, the other tribes do appear. Uh, we've got Impala here, and I believe, yeah, over in the waist, got another Impala and a couple of bison up there. Uh, they're sort of non player roles, um, effectively, they're a bit of cannon fodder, really, actually. You can go and raid them to your heart's content. Let's go around to the Sables and see what the Sables are up to. Like I said, they've been left in their own devices in the top left hand part of this board. Should I no, they haven't really capitalised on it yet when we looked at their status. They've only got eight, but they're in a strong position up here. Um, and again, we can see they got uh, Aretha's Gift, that's quite good, that was extra power, and Blessed Waha. Okay. They've also completed an adventure, because they've got one treasure down Sleeping Dog, which is going to start moving up their status quite rapidly. And they've got a couple of allied spirits, they've got the Jew Maid and the Grandmother of Spiders. What else is going on in the board then? We can have a look around here. It's far too early for any hero quests to be undertaken. We can see that there are eight uh, independent tribes and magic societies still could be emissaried. Um, you get there's twice as many of those as players, so actually I made a mistake. There should only be six of those in there, shouldn't there? Okay, should be six for them to choose from. No one's tried this turn yet. Uh, there's a god's play with the obligatory grammar error at the top there. Uh, we can see the power status, we can see the spirit plane for the spirits there and uh, actually yes, that's what reminds me that we've got the um, the sable spirit 
Shaman's just entered a spirit plane, so we will be off to see who we can come up with. Uh, in terms of condition cards, the game started with Lunar Nomad Suppression, which basically limits sort of having large groups of nomads around. That's still in play, which is causing a few problems. And we've just drawn uh, the Lunar Empire Seeks Relic. So we can see over the top part of the board, there's lots of lunar units in these top places of power and oases looking for something. Not sure what it is. Don't think we'll ever find out. That's the lunars for you, a bit mysterious. Caravan Alley is not active, as can be seen from the counter here. Okay, that would be on the board if that was active, so no one's going to be raiding that this turn. And the turn chart, we can see we've just gone into the winter season, so I've just resolved grazing. And it's Waha's High Holy Day, so everybody will lose their current boons and banes for Waha and hopefully sacrifice again for some more. So that's the current state of play. Things seem to be running quite well. Um, Lots of tweaks in my rule books down here on this chair here, and it's just full of notes and scribbles. So there'll be a new version of the new sort of uh, update of the rule book coming out soon. As you can see from my notes, made all over the place. Um, that's it. Hopefully, these playtest kits will be ready shortly.